straight away the Zero Tolerance 0470 beguiles you with its incredible details, including this marble carbon fiber show side insert. This Dmitry Sinkovich design made in USA knife comes individually serialized and utilizes an array of premium materials, including crucibles, CPM 20 CV, powder metallurgy stainless steel. Let's enjoy this slightly orange peeled milling surrounding a unique oversized pivot which is itself milled that also functions as a lock bar stabilizer. Or maybe we can enjoy the micro texturing which is milled on the angular dynamic frame lock design. If we take a step back and throw the specs up we can see that the details of this knife holds up. It's an attractive and even perhaps mass appealing ZT that's a very carryable size and weight. It also has details in the spots that matter. For example, this is a theoretically reversible pocket clip, some extra jimping for traction when you're pulling this knife out of the pocket. And yes, the venerable stamp pocket clip will come back to that. Overall, I actually enjoy the dynamic, angular, and somewhat futuristic style of this knife. I think that the backspacer is practical for those of you that want a lanyard but it is a bit of a lint magnet. We'll get back to that in a little bit. All told though, the big picture of this knife is that it is an extremely elegant offering by ZT. More elegant and more mainstream than many of the ZT offerings that I've seen come across my table. Let me explain. I want to make an analogy from a book that I recently enjoyed reading in Everyone Culture. And in this book, it talks about three different spheres of our work environment. Now the home is the area that we are very comfortable and an Emerson designed 0640 is a very comfortable place for ZT to be manufacturing old design. And the 055 is a very futuristic design from GTC, but honestly the place that we're going to be the happiest is in the groove and that's where the 0470 comes in. Yes, things like a hidden flipper on the 055 are cool and futuristic, but the compound ride is pretty impractical. And the 0640, while a very impressive execution, is nevertheless an old design. And so in the end, the knife that's going to appeal to the most people is the 0470, and it's coming at a much more practical size. Now let's talk about the size a little bit more. This KVT bearing flipper is a very reasonable overall length of 7.8 inches. Compared to, say, your Spyderco Delica, it's a little bit larger, but unless you're in a size-restricted area, and my condolences if you are, it's going to carry similarly. Just look at the comparative scale length on the ZT. Now here's another very different take on the medium size EDC knife, the Benchmade Mini Crooked River, and as you can see the ZT is very much in the realm of carryable. All of these knives in the pocket are going to do well, including the ZT, and the ZT doesn't have a whole lot of weight thanks to its milled titanium construction. But at $260, every detail should be right, and the pocket clip is just not right compared to many other knives of a similar style in my collection. How I would love for this knife to have come from the factory with a milled pocket clip, or at least some relief in the lock side, for this clip to be in nestled with the frame. But unfortunately, it isn't, probably as a sort of concession to aftermarket possibilities. The other thing that is unfortunate about this pocket clip being stamped is that it's rather prone to scratches, and it also is just not beautifully finished on the side. Now, one thing that I do think is incredibly beautifully finished is the combination of satin and stonewash on the beautiful slightly clipped blade shape. Unfortunately, this is a fingerprint magnet, and so you'll find yourself cleaning this knife on a daily basis, as I have, owning this knife in the last couple months. But when it is cleaned up, wow, what a gorgeous blade shape. Whether you want to call this a drop point or a clip point, it is incredible. And my example has excellent overall uh, equal and symmetrical uh, milling on both sides of this knife. It really is a great cutter, and there are definitely some guys out there who have steeped the angle up to make it an even greater cutter. This steel insert is another excellent detail of this knife that's just going to ensure that it's going to continue to break in normally. Also notice that beautiful milling around the relief of the lock so that you can easily get your thumb in there without any hassle. This is a knife with no loxic and it works great. As far as flipping goes, I think that it doesn't work as great as a light switch flipper as it does a push button flipper. My toddler son Dominic, who helped me film the B-roll, had this to say. It's under G. G. G.
I just say GT. I said it said GT. Where does it say GT? It says GT. It says GT. I mean GT. Because he's GT. What does ZT mean, Dad? ZT is the name of this. I believe what I was thinking when Dominic was getting his piece in was something to the effect that the KVT bearing system, while not scary smooth, certainly is a pleasure to use overall, as is this knife in total. Really a beautiful knife, not without its foibles, particularly it kind of gets linty and dusty and fingerprinted, but that's what you get in order to have these incredible details throughout this gorgeous knife. If you enjoyed this fast knife review, please make sure to subscribe to Triple Five Gear. Let me know what other knives you'd like to see, and you can expect some regular knife reviews coming around this channel soon. I'm enjoying my knives a lot, and you can expect more reviews here. If you're interested in picking up the ZT0470, I recommend you get it from Knife Art, which is linked in the description below. They provided this knife for review, and as you can see, they also allowed me to be very impartial in my assessment of its strengths and weaknesses. But overall, the 0470 is an outstanding, excellent mainstream offering from ZT. I really love it. Thanks for watching.